Prince Harry was completely mistaken about a crucial fact regarding King Charles in the spare documentary. Hi. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Prince Harry's portrayal of King Charles in his memoir Spare has been deemed inaccurate by a royal expert, who claims the Duke was so wrong, on a crucial detail. As Prince Harry prepares for a potential return to the UK next month, where he will speak at the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary service, criticism of his memoir continues to mount. In Spare, Prince Harry unleashed a scathing critique of the royal family, divulging intimate details of his privileged upbringing. One of his claims was that his father, King Charles, was ill-suited for single parenthood, lacking the necessary qualities of responsibility, patience, and time. However, royal editor Matt Wilkinson has vehemently disputed these allegations, asserting that they are unjust towards Charles, who ascended to the throne in September 2022. Wilkinson, speaking on the Sun's show Royal Exclusive, argued that he had witnessed Charles display the same love and affection towards his children as Diana did, albeit in a more introverted manner. He recalled an instance when Diana and Charles had just completed a job, and as they boarded the Royal Britannia, Charles greeted the captain, first officer, and cook with politeness while Diana made a more extroverted entrance. Diana, with a disregard for the onlookers, sprints down the gangplank, her arms outstretched, and the boys eagerly flock to her, creating a captivating scene that graces the front pages of newspapers worldwide. In a rather unfortunate turn of events, poor Charles finds himself resembling a sour lemon. During their time in India, he failed to accompany Diana to the majestic Taj Mahal, leaving her stranded and alone while he attended a distant business gathering 500 miles away. It seems he consistently fumbles such matters. Recalling the time when Harry and William ventured to Canada shortly after Diana's visit, the atmosphere was akin to the arrival of the Beatles. As the boys strolled towards an event, the air was filled with deafening screams, reminiscent of adoring fans of a pop star. I trailed behind them, witnessing Harry urging William to raise his hand repeatedly, just to witness the ensuing chaos as a swarm of girls attempted to surge forward, they were in such close proximity, which makes the current estrangement all the more disheartening. I always held the belief that when William ascended the throne, Harry would become one of his most trusted advisers. Alas, that notion has been completely shattered. In January 2020, Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, made the decision to step down from their roles as senior members of the royal family following a period of strained relations with the rest of the monarchy. Although they retained their titles as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they were stripped of the prestigious honorifics of His or Her Royal Highness, HRH. Additionally, Harry relinquished his military distinctions. Their return to the United Kingdom has been infrequent, with only a handful of visits, including the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June 2022 and her funeral in September of the same year. Separately, Harry made a solitary trip for the King's coronation in May 2023 and a brief 45-minute meeting with Charles after Buckingham Palace announced the King's battle with cancer. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.